Hello everyone, in this video we learn how to include figures and subfigures in LaTeX. So let's start by setting uh, the, the document. So first of all we need to choose the document class and as in the previous video we choose article. We just change here the, the options. The rest is the same as in the previous video with the only difference that in this document I'm not including the bibliography. And here options I check this box here. Let me show now my working directory. So I have this tag file in this document and I have this folder images with the images that I want to include in my document. And these are all PNG file. So let's build the document. And this is the output. So let me show you. First of all, as you can see here, we have this double question mark here and here. In this case, the references are not working, but usually here we solve just by running again. And as you can see now, we have the, the reference. Figure one is this one. Okay, so let's go through the let's go through the code. So the first image here we include just one uh, one figure. And we have already seen this in the previous video. So begin figure, centering, caption. We put a label, include graphics, scale equal zero point eight. This is the option, so scale the image 0.8 of its real size. And then this is the path to, to the image that we want to include in the document. Okay, so remember to label everything. Also because if you want to include a, a figure in your document, you want to refer to that figure. So not here, not here. Backslash ref, and here we include the name of the label. And basically, it's this one. Okay, so let's see now how we can put two uh, figures side by side. Okay, we have uh, begin figures, uh, caption, again, we label, and then we, are, we have to uh, start with the begin subfigure. So we have begin subfigure here and end subfigure here. B is an optional position argument. So move the baseline to the bottom. And then we have 0 0.45 uh, text width. This uh, defines the width of 0 0.45 times the value of the text width. Then include the graphics width equal text width. And then the path to the to the figures and here we set the caption in this times this time below include the graphics basically here we have the this subtitle the title of this image below the figures and we label the the figures uh, backslash edge fill add some spacing between the the figures and then again Begin some figures and some figures, and here include the graphics, the same caption, and we label. And as you can see now in the document, here, figure two, we are referring to all the figure, but not here that we have figure two A, figure two B. So basically, we are referring to the individual uh, figures in this figure two. So now let's move to the next one. Okay, so basically here they are a little bit uh, small. So perhaps we want to arrange uh, the two figures, one above the other one. So let's see. Here begin, in this case I'm adding centering, caption, label, again begin uh, subfigure. And this time I'm using this uh, this uh, backslash column width. 
yeah, centering include graphics, caption, uh, label, and subfigure. Then we begin the new subfigure. In this case, we are uh, setting this alignment one uh, above the other one. Let me show another example with column width. Yeah, we are just in reproducing figure number two, but this time we are going to use column width. So I'm setting 0 0.45 with the column width, and this width I'm setting line backslash line width. And the same for the second uh, subfigure. Uh, usually, column width. Uh, I mainly use if I'm working with a document written in, uh, in columns. Let me show now the next one. We want to make this uh, plot, this plot with three, with three figures. And this time here, I am changing the, the width and put, I'm setting to six centimeters. Actually, I almost never use this one. I usually um, work with the uh, text width but uh, some people use this uh, this measure here and uh, let's see how we can do basically we are just setting the the width here so this one for the first figure the second figure and this third figure it just go on the next level we can put all the three in uh, in one line in this case so this one start on the on the new level we are setting here centering so that this figure is starts in the middle and not at the beginning of the of the new line next one let's put all of the three figures side by side and here i'm defining the text with 0.3 and this is the same code basically uh, that we have seen at the beginning. It's just we are just changing here. Last one, last example. We want to put four figures here. And basically, it's the same. We just define the text with 0 0.45 for the first subfigure, second subfigure, and then we put a blank space. And here we have again the second line with the first subfigure and the second subfigure. And by the way, this percentage symbol here is just to make comments. So basically, this part is not run by, by LaTeX. Uh, to conclude, let me show you the output. So this is the document that we have generated. And Everything is linked, so here we jump to figure one, or for example, yeah, this is to A, and so on. This is all the document. So I hope this video is useful. See you in the next video.